Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. It's been a little bit and I said I would be sharing with you more of a Sephora and MAC haul. So that's basically it. I also have a couple things that I picked up at Holt Renfrew as well as one NYX item. So without further ado, let's get started. So the first two things I picked up were my Clay de Poe eyebrow pencil refills and they're just the refill cartridges so it's not anything new or exciting. But this is the shade 204. This has been my holy grail eyebrow pencil for the last almost three years. Um, I recently did a comparison between this as well as the Burberry and I also compared NYX with Annabelle so if you haven't looked at that post yet then I'll leave it down below but uh, yeah I would say the Clay de Poe definitely above all has been my favorite. Now the only disappointing thing and I'm not sure if it's because of our current exchange rate and how it's so terrible but these just keep going up in price. When I first started buying the Clay de Poe eyebrow pencil and the cartridges, the cartridges were around like $25 $26. They're now $32 each. And I know in the grand scheme of things, considering I use this every day, it's really not that big of a deal, but that's it's getting it's getting a little pricey now. So I don't know. I mean I love it so much it's not like I'm going to stop buying it. Now if they go on, you know, up, upwards of $40, then I'll probably have to start reconsidering my options. But for now, Clay de po, I'm sticking with them. So yeah, I picked these up at Holtz just because I didn't have any backups left. So, yep, that's about it. The next two things I picked up were from MAC, and these are the Retro Matte Liquid Lipsticks. And I picked it up in two colors. This is Dance With Me, which is sort of a deeper, almost cranberry type of red. And this is Feel So Grand, which is basically a brighter red. It's like an in-between of Ruby Woo and Russian Red, both of which I really enjoy. And I like these because, true to the Retro Matte formulas, they're very, very matte they're also in that sense very drying so if you have drier lips in general you'll either want to make sure that you hydrate and condition beforehand or maybe then just avoid these altogether but the wear time on these ones are ridiculous I wore this one to work and I applied it around 6 30 in the morning by 4 30 p.m. that day after a staff meeting it was still perfect and it basically lasted until I took it off at night. Now to be fair, when I wear lip products, I generally try to avoid doing anything that'll mess it up. So when I eat and when I drink, I'm a bit more careful, but I don't really go out of my way. So yeah, I must say very, very impressed with the retro mattes. And matte liquid lipsticks are basically the whole thing right now. I mean, I mentioned in my previous video, which was the drugstore haul, that I picked up the Maybelline Vivid Matte liquid lipsticks and I wasn't really impressed just because they burned my lips so anyway let's move on the next couple things I picked up at Sephora so the first thing I got was the Kat Von D shade and light contouring uh, what is this this is the shade and light blush and I picked it up in Piaf and Poe and so as you can see there's two colors here and apparently this is really good for contouring and then this is basically the lighter or highlighting blush now this has gotten a lot of mixed reviews and a lot of reviews actually or the majority that I've seen have been fairly negative I was really surprised to see that Temtalia hated this blush she graded it in F and I don't know if it's because she received a really early version of it so it wasn't I don't know it was still in the process of you know production or what have you but I don't know I mean I really like this blush it's not necessarily the creamiest powder blush I've ever used but I would say in terms of pigmentation it's actually quite nice it lasts basically all day and this is basically a darker they call it a chestnut rose which kind of is confusing for me but a deeper rosy color and then the lighter one is like a lighter complementary pink and I've been wearing it basically every day this week or whenever I've been wearing makeup and I quite like it. I mean, I understand that some people are criticizing the packaging for seeming a little bit more of a cheap type of thing. And I also read that some of the pans actually came out and they've just been breaking, but... I haven't had any issues, so I quite like this. I put the darker shade on the outside, like um, closer to my ear, on top of, or just basically here, if that makes sense. And then I use the lighter color on the apples of my cheeks, and I, I quite like the effect. I think that they're actually very pigmented, and I find that sometimes I'm a little heavy-handed with this, so I have to buff it out so that way I don't look like a clown, but all in all, I, I really like PF and Poe, so none of the other colorways seemed to pique my interest, so I'll just stick with this one, but I quite like it. 
The next three things I got at Sephora, I got them at different times, but they're all lip products. And the first one should come as no surprise, as I've mentioned, I was going to pick it up. It is the Urban Decay and Gwen Stefani Collaboration Lipstick, and this is in the shade Ex-Girlfriend, which is just a really nice sort of MLBB type pink color. Um, I will be posting a full review soon. I've already taken the photos for it, so just stay tuned for that. But I really like this because it is a sheer formula. It seems very hydrating and just provides a really natural looking shine. So Ex-Girlfriend is definitely a really nice MLBB pink shade. The next two items, um, they are again matte liquid lipsticks and they are the Tardist lip paints. And I'm actually wearing this one today, this is in the shade Twerk, if you can see that. So Twerk, it's basically your warm toned fuchsia and it doesn't really look, you know, it doesn't look super neon or bright. So it's actually, it's quite nice. And unlike the MAC Retro Mattes, these are actually, you know, a little bit more plush and hydrating, like they don't feel as drying. Um, I can't really comment on wear time right now, but I'm sure I'll do a review so I can update you on that just because this is the first time I'm wearing it. But so far, it, it's definitely not as drying, so that's quite nice. The other color I picked up is called Frenemy, and Frenemy is a really, really deep red with like brown undertones so my friend Brandon actually said that it kind of looks like dried blood so this was not his favorite but I'm wearing it not him although Brandon if you want to wear it no judgments but uh, yeah I'm really really into these dark vampy reds anyway I oh yeah that's something else I picked up and I just forgot so I picked up four things from Sephora it's the Too Faced Melted Chocolate um, Lip Gloss sorry nope it's the Too Faced Melted Chocolate Liquefied Long Wear Lipstick so again it's another liquid lipstick and this one isn't really matte but it's a really dark you know another really dark maroon with a bit of a brown tone and it smells smells like chocolate you know artificial chocolate obviously but chocolate nonetheless so yes I'm all about the dark baby colors and I'm all about the liquid lipsticks right now and lip products in general. Sorry, I'm sweating, It's which is crazy because it's like minus 31 outside but our heat is on obviously so that we stay warm but now that the sun's coming in, the heat's blasting, I'm sweating and I don't really want to open a window or else it's just going to be freezing. So. The balance. The struggle is real. So the last thing I picked up is actually from NYX, and I got this at Shoppers Drug Mart, so it's a drugstore, but I would say, like, price point, it's almost mid-range. I mean, it was 25 bucks. And this is the NYX Strobe of Genius Illuminating Palette. I'm wearing this shade today. Oh, if I could open it. I'm wearing this shade on my cheeks, so it's really glowy. Um, in terms of the formulation, yeah, it's a little bit chalkier I guess. It's not too difficult to apply and to blend out but it's obviously not as buttery and soft as say you know an hourglass powder or you know Chanel or Clay de Peau and so on. But I would say for a drugstore brand and for that price point and so on it's it's not bad. I mean I'll do a full review and swatches on my blog but for $25 you get seven highlighters and you know, goes with the whole strobing trend right now, but I saw this and it looked really intriguing and there's not actually a lot of reviews about this online, so that's why I was really just curious and I figured, you know, I was getting bonus optimum points anyway, so we'll splurge. So, yeah, so far I would say it's okay. I mean, if you're not into spending $48 just for one highlighter, like the Hourglass Ambient Strobe Powder, then if you want to spend like 25 it was on sale, or 30 bucks basically on seven highlighters, then yeah, I would say it's worth it. But yeah, stay tuned. I'll give a full review with my whole thoughts and opinions. That's a really poorly formed sentence. I have to go. Anyway, yeah, so that's what I picked up from Max Sephora Holtz and Shoppers Drug Mart. Now, if you have any questions about anything I picked up, then please feel free to leave it down below, and I will be happy to answer any of those questions for you if I can. Videos are going to keep being sporadic just because it's busy and it takes a lot of time to film and edit and so on. So if you're sticking around, again, thank you so much for sticking around. Blog posts are actually more frequently being posted, so if you haven't checked out my blog, it's always linked down below, so please go feel free to check that out. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, I have a Facebook page, but I'm contemplating whether or not I want to keep it just because it seems a little redundant. But you can follow me on all types of social media at StayGorgeousLC, and I don't know, I'll see you soon. Bye!